Ross Dellinger from Sports Illustrated tweeted something very interesting yesterday. And I figured it was something that was going to stir up a, a big-time Twitter firestorm. And it did for a little bit. Not quite the size that I originally anticipated. But alas, here we are. Uh, the Big Ten media right stuff coming out, etc. There's there's a lot to talk about. And we've got games coming up in, what, eight days? Uh, no, no, I guess nine days, whatever it is. The, today's Thursday. Game's next Saturday. So, yes, I understand why it may not have. But we'll look at this. He said, good stuff from TJ Altimore, who analyzed fan base size in FBS based on several studies. TJ, by the way, strategy consultant. Um, he went to USC. He's he's done a lot, right? And this is a really interesting set of data that he has got. And eh, the way I've got it set up, it's not going to be able to pull up, right? Regardless. All right. He brings up 92% of all college football fans are fans of P5 programs. Now, that is interesting to me, first off, because I really thought that a lot of these lower lower programs had quite a quite a few fans. Uh, now, all of this data, by the way, is built... I'm curious if I can open this in a different tab. We'll see. And that might help a little bit. Um, it says that this includes inbound conference teams only, excluding some newly promoted FCS teams lacking prior data. The source is the New York Times and uh, NYT 538 studies of fan bases in 2011 and 2014 and of vivid seats ticket sales data in 2014, normalized with 2020 U.S. Census data and Google Trends data, and multiple studies of overall national college football fan support. Inputs from each study are averaged based on number of inputs to avoid penalizing uh, teams not included in all three studies. Uh, this is from Altimore Collins and Company. Now, this is the interesting part. Uh, it says 50% of fans cheer for one of the top 16 teams, and we'll get to that here in a minute. 75% of fans cheer for one of the top 35 teams. 90% of fans cheer for one of the top 61 teams, which is where that 92% uh, of fans cheer for the 69 A5 Power Conference teams, which I don't think it's 69, but regardless, we will get there. Uh, he brings up this very interesting thing here. The top 16 teams account for 50% of all college football fans, and it goes from Ohio State as the biggest fan base in the country at 11.26 million. Notre Dame second with 8.21. Texas is third, 7.82. Penn State, 6.36. And then you've got da, 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 Michigan, 6.26. Florida after that. Oregon after that. Alabama at 5.34 million. Wisconsin, 4.57. USC, 4.46. And then the rest of the top 16 is LSU, Georgia, Texas A&M, You'll get a kick out of this one. Syracuse at 3.45 million. Auburn and Tennessee, both with 3.27 million. Now, it takes all those together. The SEC has the biggest here. Five, or excuse me, 54.1 million. Next to the Big Ten at 44.6. The ACC, 31.7. And that includes Notre Dame in there. The Pac-12 at 23.5. And then the Big 12 is 11.6. It shows... The Big 12 alignment here, or the realignment revolution, and all the teams that they lost from 2010, or the ones that they gained and lost from 2010 through 2020, they lost Nebraska, lost Colorado, lost Texas A&M, lost Missouri. Then you gain West Virginia, you gain TCU. So you went from 2010 at 27.32 million down to 19.94 million, and then you lose Texas A&M, you lose excuse me, you lose Texas, you lose Oklahoma, and you gain BYU, UCF, Houston, and Cincinnati, you go from 19.94 million college football fans to 11.57 million. So in 15 years, you have dropped 58% of your overall fan base for that conference. That is not good. 58% uh, decline is, is tough. I mean, it's just tough. This is an incredibly interesting read. There are plenty of articles out there about it. But, you know, Tony doing this, uh, Tony Altimore, TJ, uh, really interesting stuff that he's got. So I, I would highly recommend going and checking out his stuff along with Ross Dellinger. So uh, 
Ross has. I don't know how I'm not. I know what's going on here. Never mind. Uh, regardless, I'm logged into Winning Cures everything right now. <laughs> That's what's happening. So, really interesting stuff about fan base size. I don't know that I necessarily believe it, right? Syracuse has like the number 14 overall total fan base. Syracuse fans, hit me up. Tell me what you think about this because that don't sound right. I, I, I've seen the Carrier Dome or whatever it's called now, but I don't think they've got that many fans. Maybe I'm nuts. You guys tell me. I don't know. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.